Do you want to generate quality real estate leads that actually respond to you when you call them, when you text them, when they, when you email them and get them to reach out to you? That's what we're going to cover in today's video coming up. In today's video, I'm going to talk about how you can generate quality real estate and mortgage leads utilizing Facebook video ads. Now we all know that real estate is a face to face business. It's a belly to belly business, right? The best business that we can do is getting in front of people, talking to people face to face. Uh, the next best way to do that is getting in front of a camera because as you know, we feel like we're in front of people. We follow people on Instagram. We get to know them. We feel like we're friends with them, but we don't, we've never met them before. Uh, and that is today's environment. So if you can get in front of a camera, educate, provide value to your potential prospects, to your potential leads, to your potential clients, then you are going to be more successful than you've ever been in real estate. And that is the 2019 and beyond strategy. Video is going to dominate online advertising, online marketing, and really online in general. Zuckerberg, Facebook, uh, Google, YouTube has already said that in the next two, three, four, five years, over 80 to 90% of the content will already be video. So if you're not utilizing video, if you're just doing copy and paste, Facebook ads are just posting articles, then you are going to be behind the curve. So in today's video, I'm gonna talk about outlines for your video, what types of videos you should be doing, how to actually uh, place a Facebook video ad, what objective should you use, and how to create a custom audience of people who watch percentages of your videos so that you can eventually have a direct response or a typical uh, Facebook ad for them. Okay, so outline of the video. First, you wanna do a video about 30 to 60 seconds. I would say 90 seconds max. People have a short attention span uh, and Instagram especially, you can only do a one minute video anyway on your timeline uh, and you can break that up into an Instagram story over four, um, over four stories. Unless you wanna do Instagram TV, which I wouldn't recommend as of now if you're beginning in digital marketing. So I'll keep it around 30 to 90 seconds. The content of that video could be very, very simple, right? So you wanna hook your audience. Every video is, is kinda of like this. So you wanna hook the audience with whatever the title is, right? Uh, and then show a little bit of social proof or story to prove your hook at the beginning and then educate your client or, or your potential leads or, or whoever your viewers are and then have a soft call to action at the end. We, won't, we don't really want to have any crazy call to action like go to my website or anything like that unless it's a blog post. But a call to action could be super simple. It could be like this, share this. If you know anybody looking to buy or sell, uh, share this with everybody that you know. That would be awesome. Or hey, a simple call to action is hey, comment down below. I'd love to hear what questions you have about the buying or selling process, right? So it could be very simple like that. So you hook you provide a little bit of proof or story or testimonial of whatever you're talking about and then educate them on that topic and then have a call to action. This could really be anything. It could be a community interview. It could be a testimonial. It could be you talking about the pre-approval process. It could be you talking about the selling process. It could be talking about seven tips to increase the value of your home. Whatever it is, follow that simple script. Keep it 30 to 90 seconds max and you will have an awesome video. The more you do video, the more comfortable you'll get with that. Okay, on to placing your Facebook ad. So if we go to Ads Manager here, I'm under my test account here. So if I go to Create, and I click on Create an Ad, what we're gonna do here is go to Video Views. Now, if you are in the housing category, uh, it is safe to assume that you will need to do this with all of your uh, content, so just choose housing, and then what we're gonna do is video views. Now with this, uh, you can, if it is just strictly content related, um, I would suggest always doing housing. 
um, here under the special ad category because you don't want your ad account to be shut down. So I would definitely recommend doing that. Um, we don't know uh, the length at which Facebook is going to turn down ads or you know, even remove ad accounts for not following this. So I would always come in here and do that. Uh, so we're gonna click on video views uh, for the video. The reason we're doing video views is because we wanna get the cheapest cost per view. Uh, but if we want engagement, if your call to action is, hey, comment down below, uh, whatever it is that your video was about, whether it's questions or anything uh, related to the buying and selling process, then you can do engagement to get the most amount of comments. And generally, Facebook will like that. They will share it with more people for much cheaper. So you might get cheaper cost per view on a, a really well done video. But to start out, I would do video views so that you get the cheapest cost per view first. Um, so we're gonna use video views. I'm not even gonna go and edit this just because I don't really want to do that. I would do a campaign budget optimization. I would do it for a lifetime budget of $75 because that's the minimum they'll allow you to do. Um, and then we'll continue here. And then for the special ad category, you can only do a 15 mile radius uh, nowadays. So uh, we're just going to do, let's do, uh, I live in Plano, Texas. So we're gonna do Plano 15 miles and we are going to just choose that. So Plano, Texas, 15 mile radius. And we are going to target everybody in that audience. So um, right here, we're gonna choose English. I only speak English. We have a lot of Spanish speaking folks around here, uh, but I'm not fluent in that. Um, and then we are going to come in here. You can do some targeting here. So you can do Zillow, you can do like real estate, first time uh, buyer and things of that nature. And I would recommend narrowing that audience and doing like realtor.com. So it could be as simple as that. And that's narrowed it down from 2 million to 32,000 people. So you know these people probably are interested in real estate in some form or fashion, right? Uh, but we also want a pretty big audience. So you could literally just do Zillow and, and do half a million people um, so that we can get the most amount of video views, the most amount of gate engagement on our video. Okay. so. We are gonna come in here and edit the placements. I just want this on Instagram and Facebook newsfeed. So we're just gonna stick with those. So Facebook newsfeed, Instagram newsfeed. And then we're gonna scroll down here. Um, this will be your schedule since this is um, a campaign lifetime budget of $75. We're just going to do that. We're gonna click on continue. And then from here, this is where you'll actually come with your ad, right? So you'll do video views, just do Adam. Okay, under Instagram account, you'll just use the selected page here. If you have an Instagram account, then you can go and add your Instagram account on your business manager. And then here you'll upload your video. Um, we'll upload a video. Or actually, let's go and see if I have a video that we can borrow. So let's just use one of these just for simplicity's sake. So it's a 15 second video. Obviously, I would um, I would have a longer video here. I would do 30 to 90 seconds. Um, and then what you can do here is, if it's a super simple video, just put the title of it, right? So if you're doing like, you know, uh, Plano market report, whatever it is, right? Just title that video um, and then you can go from there. Really what you want is the video to do the talking. So you don't want a whole lot of text up here. Uh, and then you would confirm this and you're good to go on that. Then what you'll want to do, so that is how to create a video ad. We want to do video views first to get the cheapest cost per view. And then what you can do, if you go and choose at the very beginning, I said that you can go and do uh, page post engagement, right? And then what you would do is use an existing post because you'll still have this ad and you still want the likes, the comments, the shares on that. And then you can still use this exact post that we just created, but we're using, using it for a different ad objective, which to, would be to get the most amount of comments, likes, shares. 
Uh, comment down below if that makes sense. If you have any questions on that, I'd love to help you. The next thing that we want to do is create an audience of people who watch a percentage of this video, right? So if you come in here, uh, if you click on the hamburger menu here uh, and hover over all tools, you'll see audiences here. I've already pulled this up so we don't have to waste time on that. What you'll do here once this pulls up is you will create an audience. Create an audience, create a custom audience. So click on that. And then what you'll do is we want video views. So you click on video and then you'll go and choose the video. Now, if this is a 30 second video, then what I would do is I would go and choose 50% or even 75% of the video. That's how much they watched, which is only 15, 20 to 25 seconds, right? So I would choose 50%. Um, if it's around 60 seconds, then I would do 25%. So they watch 15 seconds or more. And really, we just want them to see our face, right? That is the point. Uh, it's really an impression. Um, and we, will, we also want to create an audience that knows us, that's seen our content, but also we want to make sure that it's big enough so that Facebook has a pool of people um, that can show their ads, show our ads to them for a cheap cost. And if you have a super small uh, audience, then it might show for a pretty expensive cost. So uh, we want to create 25 or 50%. So we're going to stick to, um, let's do 25%. And then you would come in here and choose those videos. So you'd come in here and choose the video. All right, whatever the video is that we just did. And then what we want to do here is we want to create a 30 day. So this would be whatever your ad is, right? So this is, this video is Facebook video ads. So I would do Facebook video ads, uh, 25%, 30 days, right? And I would save that. So I'll create that audience. And then what I want to do is come in here and create an audience that is the exact same, but it's 90 days. So we want 25% of that same video, confirm, and we would do Facebook video ads. 25% uh, over a 90 day period, right? Or you could do 365 or whatever it is, right? Because we want to create those audiences to, to be bigger, right? Because we want to show our ads immediately to people uh, who watch our content, but we also want to create a big uh, audience of people who have watched all of our content, right? Uh, over the past 90 days, over the past 180 days, six months, over the past year. So we have all of those people and we can show our ads to them. So we'd create this audience, okay? And then at this point, you would go in and do a direct response style ad using this audience. Now I've done videos on this in the past. Uh, simply, you would just go to ads manager here. You would go to the objective. You would do a lead form. I'm gonna fly through this because I already have videos on this. Uh, lead generation, click continue. We're gonna come in here. We would choose the audience. Uh, so we're going to go in here where you would go and find that audience is under custom audiences. We're going to click on this and then we see the two audiences that we just created. So we would do Facebook video ads, 25% video views, 30 days, right? And we would use that audience for our direct response ads. If you want uh, templates, Facebook ad templates of direct response style ads, I will link that in the description below. Guys, if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. I hope it helps you. If you have any questions at all, comment down below. I'm here to help you go further faster with your digital marketing in real estate and mortgage. Guys, if you're not already subscribed, make sure that you click the subscribe button. Uh, click the bell icon so you get notified when I upload new videos. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video.